When ball tension is your preferred method of tightening for critical connections, Torque Light's versatile design is easy to use. Hi, I'm Dave Godfrey. Today we're going to demonstrate hydraulic tensioners to you. Tensioners are ideal for pipe, flanges, exchanges, foundation bolts, and lots of other applications. Tensioners consist of four parts. The socket, the bridge, the ram or the head, and the puller. Both our manual retract and automatic retract tensioners come in sizes from three quarter to five and three quarter. Different stud sizes can be accommodated with the same ram we just use different adapters. All of our rams have a, have a visible stroke indicator, ensuring the safety of the person using the tool. Also, if it's ever overstroked, there's a safety feature in here that the oil will be displaced on the internal of the puller, so there's no chance of getting hurt by high pressure to the technician. We're gonna place one of the tools on the application. The socket ring is over the nut, the bridge is over the stud, the ram's on top, and we're simply going to tighten the puller down onto the tool. Okay, we're going to connect the link hose to the pump, and then one end to the tool itself. If you're doing 50% tensioning now, this one would be connected from here to the next tool to the next tool to do a continuous loop. Then you'd close the pressure relief valve on the pump, Take pressure from the pump and apply it to the tool. You'd always put a thousand PSI in to start with, check that there's no leaks, and then when you're happy there's no leaks, take it up to the desired pressure of the tool. Once you've achieved the correct pressure on your pump, you would then take your tommy bar, put it in the tommy hole of the socket ring, and just nip down. Once that's nipped down, nip all the rest down on the flange, and that's your load captured. We take the pressure of the tools up to three times and then just turn in the nut down each time to ensure you've captured the load. Once the load's captured, open the pressure relief on the pump, disconnect the hoses and move on to the opposite studs if you're doing 50% or if you're doing 100%, the job's finished. Okay, that's it. Simple and easy to use. If you'd like to see more videos, leave a comment, subscribe and hit like. Thank you.